to advance in this kingdom. How to advance in this kingdom. How to advance in this kingdom. Nawezaje kusonga bele katika ufanme wa mungu. Um, Anangepena kuanza kwa kusema ni vizuri kujua vile mungu huwa anafanya kazi. Kwa sababu tusipo jua, tunaweza kusema tunamgojea mungu ilhali mungu anatungojea. I love Psalms 103 verse 7 ambayo inasema Musa alijua jia za mungu lakini wana wa Israeli walijua matendo yake. Uh, he made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. So Moses knew the ways. It's like he knew the formula for the manifestation of the deeds of God. But the children of Israel only knew the deeds. Remember Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And so we need to know Jesus the way in our lives. Jesus who is able to reveal to us the kingdom formula of our advancement. Mungu ameweka taratibu yake ya kufanya mambo na anafuata mkondo fulani anafuata taratibu fulani ya kufanya mambo na tukielewa hiyo taratibu ni rahisi sana kuifuatilia na kuona matokeo na kwa hivyo if you are going to advance in this kingdom lazima ujue na uamini ya kwamba number 1 it is the will of god for me to advance in my life our god is a god of advancement mungu wetu ni mungu ambaye anapenda watu wasonge mbele kila wakati that is why hata ndani yetu ameweka ile hali ya excitement ukiwa na kitu fulani unakuwa excited for some time ukitumiwa na Mungu jia fulani unakuwa excited for some time ukiingia nyumba ya three bedroom na unaweza kulipa rent unakuwa excited for some time lakini ukikaa pale unaanza kusikia ile excitement imeisha wengine wanaweza kulirate hiyo pengine waona ni kana kwamba katika maisha yao hawana shukurani lakini hiyo ni tofauti na kuwa na shukurani you can be grateful to god but being grateful to God does not mean that you still have divine satisfaction to stay in one level for a long time. God will not give you that satisfaction because it is not his will for you to be at the same level for a long time. That is why he could command the children of Israel and tell Moses, these people have been going round the same mountain. For so long, tell them to advance. Tell them to move forward. Sitaki wazunguke mahali pamoja kwa muda mrefu. So you advance in this kingdom number one by knowing it's God's will for me to advance. The Bible says in the book of Second Corinthians, uh, chapter three, and verse eighteen. Second Corinthians chapter three and verse eighteen. The Bible says, and we who with unveiled faces all reflect the glory are being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory which comes from the Lord who is a spirit. The Bible says uh, we are being transformed into his likeness with an ever increasing glory. Can we read the same in King James Version, and we are going to read still in another one more version, maybe New Living Translation. The Bible says, but we all, not just a few people, 
But we all, can we say, but we all, with open face, beholding as in a grass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory as by the Spirit of the Lord. So as long as you are in this kingdom, we all, we are being changed from one glory to the other. And we didn't need even translation. So, all of us, can we take it up together? So, all of us who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord, who is a spirit, makes us more and more like him as we are changed into his glorious image. So the Bible says, so all of us, it is the will of God for all of us to advance, to progress, to be changed into his image from glory to glory. So there is no excuse. Ya kusema unajua mimi ni kama mungu ya mekata siku hizi kunibaliki, ni kama amesema ni kaya levo moja. Nataka ni kuambia kwamba kukaa levo moja ni wamuzi wako. Lakini katika system ya mungu, mungu ameweka ukaweze kuadvance. Our God is a God of progress, fruitfulness, and advancement. Praise the name of the living God. Na wewe hakuna mtu anaweza kusema ya kwamba mimi Mungu anataka nikae kiwango hiki miaka yangu yote. Ha? Hata sio lazima ungojee nabii akuja kunene. Akuja kuambia ati Mungu anataka kufanya jambo lipjipia. Hapana. Ni kawaida Mungu kufanya mambo mapya. Ni kawaida Mungu kutaka kila moja wetu a bath a new season kila wakati Mungu anataka kuwe na bathing so hata hii uh, spiritual midwifing inafaa kuingia ndani yetu kwa sababu hata ukiingia kiwango kingine wiki hii bado kuna kiwango kingine kinakugojea na kiwango kingine so you must be a person who has already been set to bath new seasons in your life the kingdom of god is compared with a mustard seed and the Bible says this mustard seed, when it is, it, it, you sow it, it grows and it becomes a big tree. Growth is consistent. Bwana pewe sifa. Hakuna wakati ya timuti unakuwa, unakuwa haraka rafu unafika mahali unasimama. Ndiyo kuna wakati kuna kuwa na kiangazi kidogo ama majira frani. Ukute hauendele ina hile speed ya bao unafaa. But generally, growth is consistent. Kwa hivyo ni katika ufalme huu kuna vile Mungu anataka uendelee kukua. Ndio wakati mwingine mmea ni matawi unatoa. Wakati mwingine ni ile mahindi kama ni mmea wa mahindi unatoa. Wakati ni kujaza ile mahindi. Lakini lazima kuwe kuna kukua kila wakati. Na wewe sio lazima uwe ati every time you are growing in every area of your life. But there are areas in your life that should be able to be experienced seeing growth uh, at every season in time uh, ya kwamba kuna eneo katika maisha yako ambalo Mungu anakuweka uingie kiwango kipya na kwa hivyo kama hauelewi unaweza kufikiria kwamba lazima ningoje Mungu anene atume nabii ndio niweze kuendelea ku advance nataka ile just in your mind uh, advancement, praise the name of the living God, is in the will of God for all of us. And God desires that you may receive that grace to bath a new season. Praise the name of the living God. In the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4 and verse 10, tunaona maisha ya jabes atakama haku amezaliwa. Praise the name of the living God. Jabez, the Bible says that Let's read from verse 9. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave him birth, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the Lord of Israel, Oh, that you'd bless me. 
and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I'll be free from pain. That last portion is very important. And God granted his word. Yani, you, 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 you can be surprised, Yakwamba, this man had lived in pain and suffering. But immediately he cried. He made a desperate cry. Immediately he purposed to bath a new season in his life. God granted Jabez a new season. That means uh, he's waiting and taking too long in pain was not necessary in God's plan and will for his life. Pengine alikuwa mekaa tu katika ile hali, amezoea, ameona ni kawaida, amesema mimi hata hivi ndivyo nilivyozaliwa, nilizaliwa katika hii hali, nilizaliwa katika hii shida, na kwa hivyo inaonekana shida yangu ni permanent. But the minute he cried, that word he made a desperate cry. Immediately he pushed in the spirit in prayer. A new season was born in his life. May you birth a new season in your life uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh. Can somebody lift your hand and say, I'm going to birth a new season in my life. Uh. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And after birthing that new season, that is not the end. The Bible says all of us, we are being changed. We are being transformed into his glory. As long as you have not reached that level of his glory, of his stature, there is still an opportunity for you to go back to him and receive and bath a new level in your life. May God give us the grace to keep momentum of moving from one glory to the other. May every spirit of stagnation be broken in Jesus' name. Ukiangalia mtu kama Hana, Elikana alikuwa na muambia, si utosheke tu, ya kwamba hauna mtoto, na mimi nina kupenda, ha? si unaona vile ninaangalia mambo yako, nina kupatia hata double portion ya nyama, lakini Hana, akajua ya kwamba, tabia ya mungu, Sio mtu wakae kiwango kimoja. Hata kama mahali yako sio pabaya sana. Anapendwa. Anapewa double portion. Hana akajua. Bado kuna kiwango cha juu. Na diyo nimesema ya kwamba unameza nunua gali. Na ni gali likuwa unasikia. Ni kama hii gali kununua. It is a matter of life and death. Hii ni kinunua. Nitasikia kuna mahali nimefika. Unangangana. Unapewa hata mkopo. Unalipa unamaliza. Lakini ukikaa naye unasikia nikana kwamba unataka kuingia kiwango kingine. Jambo lile lilikuwa linaku excite. Linawacha kuku excite katika maisha yako tena. Jambo lile lilikuwa linasikia ni kama kuna a great achievement katika maisha yako. Unasikia sio great achievement. Praise the name of the living God. Na unasikia kwamba Nataka kuingia kiwango kingine. There was a time we were so much excited. Praise the name of the living God. We are building a cathedral. Huh? Na wengine hata tukisema tojenga nyumba mzuri kona mpaka kape tonaona ni kama ayuezekani. Ama tunakuwa excited ya kwamba itafanyika. Huh? Lakini munafika mahali, lide jambo uliko unawana ni achievement kubwa. Baada ya kuriachieve, diyo kuna furaha, Dio kuna some level of excitement but as you continue unasikia kuna ladha inaondoka ndani yako ya ile excitement na unasikia ninatamani jambo lingine jipya That is why God says in the book of Isaiah See I am doing a new thing Is it Isaiah chapter 43 from verse 18 Tazama Ninatenda jabo jipia. Mungu ni mungu wabaya nakuja kila wakati. Na anatenda jambo jipia katika maisha yetu. Na anasema, before I do it, don't you perceive it. Forget the former things. Do not dwell 
on the past. Isaiah 43, 18, uh, 19, the Bible says, uh, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. So mungu ni mungu wabaya anasema, Lide jamojipi ambaro ni naro rifanya, lazima kue mtu ambaye anapasivu ambaye analiona na macho ya ndani. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba ni vizuri kuwa na macho yanayoona lile jambo jipya Mungu anafanya katika maisha yako because kile Mungu anafanya kipya katika maisha yako sio necessary ndio anafanya katika maisha yangu especially at individual level. I know there is that corporate level. Mahali Mungu anaweza kuwa anafanya jambo jipya kwetu sisi wote. Lakini ukikuja at an individual level, mahitaji yetu na hali zetu na shida zetu hazifanani. Viwango vyetu vya maisha havifanani. Na kwa hivyo jambo jipya kwako sio jambo jipya kwangu. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba uone lile jambo jipya ambalo Mungu analifanya hata kabra halijafanyika. Na hii ndio tunahitaji sasa roho mtakatifu atusaidie ambaye tumeambiwa in the Rome, book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 26 ya kwamba hatujui jinsi ya kuomba lakini huyu roho anatuombea eh? in the same way the spirit helps us in our weaknesses we don't know what we ought to pray for but the spirit uh, he himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. How does he intercede for us? The Bible says in verse 27, He searches our hearts and knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with the will of God. Sasa huyu roho diana chunguza katika mawazo ya mungu na makusudi ya mungu na anajua lile jambo jipia ambaro linafanyika katika maisha yako anakusaidia kukonceive in the spirit and you start midwifing the new thing, the new season in your life. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And as you midwife the new thing, he is your counselor, your helper. Huh? Ambayo inamaanisha, this is a legal language. Ambayo inamaanisha kwamba, he is your advocate. When the Holy Spirit is interceding for you, your adversary may come with accusations. Like what the Bible says uh, of the widow that men not always to pray but not to faint. Uh, and this widow was going before a judge. But his case was being thrown out. But I believe every time she was going back, she was getting new information from the Spirit of God to help her defend her case. Praise the name of the living God. Najo ukienda kotini, ata unaweza kukuotu kesi zingine ambazo zilifanywa kulingana na kesi yako na mwenye hiyo kesi ya judgment ambayo ilimpatia kile alichokuwa anataka that is why we read the bible unaenda bere za Mungu na mwambia wewe Mungu wa jabezi haijalishi uchungu na shida nimepitia kama vile ulivyofanyia jabezi ninakuja kwako praise the name of the living god roho mtakatifu anakusaidia kuchukua hata maandiko that is why the bible says let the word of god dwell in you richly Waombezi lazima watu, wawe ni watu walio na neno la mungu kwa wingi. Ili roho wa mungu anaweza kukwiken. That is why the word of God is called the sword of the spirit. Ata kama ni vita, anatumia lile neno kama upanga wako kupigania. Bwana pewe sifa. Watu wengi hapa tukiwa na kesi kotini, hatuwezi kujipereka. Tunaitaji an advocate ambaye anaelewa sheria. Anaye ambaye anajua do you know there are even cases uh, hawezi hata kama hauna wakiri. Unapewa wakiri wa serikali. Kwa sababu hiyo kesi ni nzito. Inaweza kukufunga maisha ama unyongwe. Ha? Na kwa hivyo razima uwe na wakiri wa kutetea. Because unaweza kosa kuerewa the gaps na sheria. Vili ambavyo inavyo fanya kazi. 
naye msaidizi wetu roho mtakatifu ni our advocate I praise the name of the living god because our accuser pia ako na ujuzi wa ku accuse the brethren ili atu deny our benefits our right our privileges our inheritance anataka atunyang'anye ulithi wetu so tunapo intercede katika roho Ah huh? number 1 tuna intercede katika mapenzi ya Bwana but still number 2 tuna intercede na we through our advocate ambaye ako na uwezo wa kututetea kulingana na sheria ya binguni praise the name of the living god kwa hivyo nataka kusema nini wapendwa how do you advance in this kingdom you advance uh, through understanding uh, that our god uh, is a god of advancement a god of progress a god of fruitfulness a god who moves people from one glory to the other and i'm here to tell you that it is god will for you to bath new seasons in your life uh, one season after the other it's not god's will for you to stay in the same level it is not his character that you stay in one level for a long time either spiritually or materially physically it's not the will of god you stay in the same level for a long time hata ukiandikwa kazi na ulikuwa na excitement ya kwamba nitapata kazi niweze kulipa nyumba hata kama ni 2020 ndio unaweza kulipa hiyo 2020 lakini utatosheka kwa muda ukikaa pale kama hakuna promotion kama hakuna kuongezewa mshahara unasikia ni kama unataka ku advance na unakuta nimeshaikuwa na mtu hata anasema anataka kuacha kazi na unamuuliza na kuambia hata hajui mahali ambapo anaenda kwa sababu gani ndani yake anasikia kwamba i desire to advance i desire to progress there is a new season that i desire to bath in my life i'm not saying you do things carelessly but i'm also saying uh, it's good for us to understand god's mind and will for our lives uh, that he desires uh, that we continue being transformed number one, being changed It's not the will of God that you struggle with the same things for a lifetime. It is God's will uh, that you continue to advance uh, that maybe a year or two or three years uh, this has been my struggle but I've been able to overcome this struggle. Now I can be able to move into a new level. Praise the name of the living God. It's not God's will that you find we you fight the same battle forever. No. You are supposed to fight some battles uh, but they are not supposed to ri- to to last uh, for a lifetime and so you are crying battle is oh god uh, i desire to bath uh, a new season uh, because even if you are in the valley of the shadow of death uh, the bible says you are walking huh? as i walk uh, in the valley of the shadow of death uh, that means uh, sooner or later the valley of the shadow of death will be behind you Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Ni mapito tu unapitia, lakini yale mapito yatarudi nyuma yako. Si Mungu awape neema na uwezo wa kuzaa majira mapya katika jina la Yesu. Tunakataa uongo wa shetani ya kwamba tunapaswa kuwa kiwango kimoja na tutosheke. Hana alisema hapana. Mimi najua Mungu na huyu Mungu angetaka nisonge bele. Jabeza kagudua haya hata kama nilizaliwa katika hii hali kumbe naweza songa bele katika maisha yangu na wakati alipomlilia Mungu na shangaa it's like god was waiting kwa sababu Mungu wako anataka Jabez akae katika kile kiwango kimoja katika maisha yake yote that is why Paul said one thing i do i forget what is behind me and i press on Philippians uh, chapter 3 from verse 12 of uh, praise the name of the living god uh, anasahau mambo yaliyo nyuma the achievement uh, uh, let's begin from verse 11 and uh, and and somehow to attain to the resurrection of the of the dead not that i have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect but i press on to take hold of that which 
Christ Jesus took hold of me. Paul, unaona ya kwamba, brothers, yes, brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. Paul, tunaona ya kwamba anajua that I may know him and the power that resurrected him from the dead. Na anaendea kusema, not that I have obtained all this, but one thing I do, I press on. Because I know there are things that Jesus has gotten hold for me through the work of the cross. And what is my secret? I always forget what is behind me. And I said, behind you, there are two things. There are your achievements, there are your pains, your failures. Both of them can bring you down. When you continue uh, thinking about your failures, then they are going to draw a lot of strength from you and you'll not be able to progress. Some of us, when we think of our successes, they may give us satisfaction and we get into our comfort zone and we are not able to move forward. Paul understood that God's will for his life is to continue advancing. To the Philippians, he was an achieved, an accomplished minister of the gospel, a spiritual giant. But to Paul, he knew where I am, I am not yet perfected, either morally, spiritually, and even physically. They are still, uh, I am still a, a work in progress. God is still uh, at work in my life. And because he is at work in my life, I will continue straining forward, straining forward. Praise the name of the living God. And that is why these prayers that we are doing in prayer festival, they are supposed to help us to continue straining forward, moving, progressing from one glory to the other, being changed, being transformed, praise the name of the living God, into his glory. That is the will of God for your life. The will of God for your life is to continue advancing. The will of God for the church is for the church to continue advancing Praise the name of the living God. As you increase uh, in the anointing, uh, the Bible says uh, you shall break every yoke because you have grown so fat. As you continue to see God, uh, some of the challenges that you are experiencing, uh, they are going to snap off. They are going to be broken. Limitations. As you continue to wait upon the Lord, they are not going to remain in your life. It doesn't matter who has been limited in your family, in the city, in the nation, but as we continue with that kind of mindset that is the will of God for us to be able to progress, uh, we'll be able to birth new seasons in our lives. Uh, receive the grace uh, this week uh, that you may birth uh, a new season, uh, a new season in ministry. As you minister, may you minister with a fresh anointing, uh, a fresh liberation. Uh, may you give fresh manna from above. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, in your business, uh, let there be new seasons uh, of open doors, uh, of bigger business opportunities. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, in your family, let there be new seasons, uh, new seasons of breakthrough and victory. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, may you conceive uh, by the help of the Holy Spirit uh, the new season that God is releasing. May you conceive uh, the new thing that God is releasing uh, as the mustard seed is able to grow as small as it is uh, to become a big tree so that men can find shade uh, and the birds of the air can build nests. Uh. May you continue to grow. I break stagnation in our lives. Uh. I break stagnation uh, in this altar. I declare the grace to progress. Uh. I declare the ability to birth new seasons uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh. The way we have received, uh, oh my God, the word of God, uh, we cannot remain the same place forever. In the name of Jesus, uh, we will get used to God. Uh, we will get used to the same kind of administration. Uh. I pray that by the help of the Holy Spirit, uh, we are going to birth a new season uh, where we can see the glory of God uh, in a way that we have never seen before, where we can experience God uh, in a way that we have never experienced before. Oh my God, uh, oh my God, uh, for this is your will. Uh, 
you are a God of advancement. You are a God of progress. You are a God of fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus.